Hey guys, this is Joel Scan I'm here and today I'm gonna teach you how to make a muzzle flash using Windows Movie Maker. I have a lot of icons. Uh, you need Windows Movie Maker and Paint.net, which is a different program than the paint that comes on your computer that's different. So and it might say unregistered hypercam because I thought I registered it, but it must have expired. So all you need is your footage of you um doing whatever it is you're doing. I'm wearing a Jason mask, it's kind of creepy. So you just have to make a video of you flinging your gun back, pretty much. I'm just going to then cut out the parts you don't need. Like I'm going to split right here. And now, so I'll have this. And now what you have to do is find right before your gun went up. See, it went up back there and move it back a frame. Now, you need two Windows Movie Maker 2.6 for this. There's a way to do it in Vista, but it's different. So you'll have to find out how to take a picture in Vista. If you know how to do that, then you can. I have Vista, but I like this better. So now, right before your gun shoots, you need to split the video and take a picture. And I'll save it as whatever. So now you should have... This is your picture. This is your video up to your picture and this is from your pic so take your video and you can drag it on okay so now you need to open up paint.net right here and go to file open and now open your picture of you shooting your gun um... what did I call it? oh yeah how to muzzle flash I hope it's in alphabetical order. I have done this a lot, but I'm still... Ah, here it is. So now, you have this. Good. Close it. Go to Internet Explorer. Okay. Now, you need to go to Google. That's my homepage. Lucky for me. Alright, Mother's Day. Um, go to images and now search muzzle flash. And now you'll get a bunch of them. See, hey there. I'm gonna take this one because it's one of my favorites. You right click, hit copy, and I'll go to use your how to muzzle flash or your your picture in paint.net, sorry. And I'll go up here to edit and hit paste into new layer. You need to put it in a new layer. So do that and then it'll show up here. You can move it around and then what you have to do is you have to rotate it so you can right click and you rotate it. Okay that's gonna be pretty good. And now what you have to do is over here right under these shapes there should be something called the magic wand. Click that and now click your picture so that it has everything and around that. Go up to the top, hit the little scissors, that means cut. There you go. So now go back to your cursor and put it in like that. You can downsize it and rotate it in here and do whatever it is you want to do. It's going to be short so it doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be nice. I'm going to file, save as, and the don't save it as a paint.net. Save it as the same name, but save it as a JPEG. It's very important. Yes, you want to replace it. This doesn't matter. Just hit OK. And it flatten. Now go back to Windows Movie Maker, and now your picture should be updated. OK, and you want to take that, bring it on your storyline. It'll be really long, but that's okay. And then get the clip from there on out. So now you should have your video, your really long picture, and the rest of your video. Now you want to go to Show Storyboard, find your picture right here in this little box, right click, go to Video Effects, scroll all the way down, speed up double, add it as many times as you can. Okay. And now, watch it. Looks like that. 
cool, but not done yet. Now you need to go to like a1freesoundeffects.com. You can find a ton just search like free sound effects and find one. Just find a gun sound effect. So I'm gonna go to file, port into collections. Now find your shotgun. I don't want that one. Light stab. No. I have a tiger. Definitely not. Colt 45. So then have that. Sounds good. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but bring it in to where you need it. Now you'll have your video and your sound effect. So I don't know if you heard it or or what. I'm not very good with hypercamming, <laughs> but it looks nice. So um, now to do it with like repeated like um, gunshots, like so you're like a machine gun. You just do the same thing over and over and over. I've done it before. It's really not that bad. It's really easy. It's just kind of time consuming. This is better than drawing it in paint. Like if you draw it, it looks really bad because I've done it before. Trust me, it comes out terrible. So save it. Upload it to YouTube or send it to your friends or whatever you want to do with it really. This is pretty much the same concept of like lightsabers and stuff. That's pretty much it. But the one thing is you have to keep copying and pasting or else it won't work. So like every time you want to add another you have to go back to Google, copy it, and then paste it again. This is Joel's Cam and uh, I'm out.